Christmas decorations, I shouldn't have bought these. Oh my God, it's just so cute. Being by the sea is my happy place. <laughs> Eggs for breakfast. Honestly, I never get bored of these. It's been, what, five and a half months now since <laughs> she was born and I'm still obsessed with runny eggs. Oh, they're so delicious. So today is our day off. We thought we'd take you along with us. Tom's hair is looking spectacular. Mm -hmm. It's because he had, I was like, why is your hair like that? And he said that you put um, hand cream, too much hand cream on like last night, moisturizer, and he just ran it through his hair. And that's why it's all sticking up. <laughs> So I just got back from my blood test. I had to fast from um, seven last night, seven until seven, which is, which is kind of, it always seems really crazy when they say that you have to fast and you're like, oh my God, I can't eat. But it's like, well, you, would you really, would you, do you normally eat like through the night? <laughs> On the camera like six inches from your face going, ah, I look horrendous. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> Oh, look at my face, it's so <laughs> horrible. My nose is so big. <laughs> I was literally just saying, Tom was like, oh, I just can't deal with my face without makeup on. It's not on. what you look like. You're holding it too close to your face. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. All women are the same. <laughs> oh, I don't like the way I look. I wish I looked different. So, hmm. you look fine. <laughs> It's our day off today. It's Tuesday. I know it's a random day to have a day off, but we work weekends, so. Um, we are doing, we're starting a course today. We're starting a course called Circle of Security, which is about, I d well, I, I don't actually really know exactly what it's about. How would you describe the course? I don't know what it entails, <laughs> while we're doing it. <laughs> it doesn't know what, it's, it's to do with parenting. It's to do with like, I don't know, learning to read your child's emotions and, and react and deal with things like that. <laughs> Lexi's just jumping around in the jolly jumper at the moment. She's loving it. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, little one? Excuse me, madam. Excuse, excuse me, madam. Lexi. Oh, what's that? <laughs> ah, I got you. Out the bouncer. Got your little feet. Time for out the bouncer. Got your little feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're just too cute. Are we gonna go on adventures today, little bubs? Should we go for a walk? See if we can't spot some tuna. Shall we go for a walk, little one? Hey, those binoculars. Yeah, let's do that. At the end of the table there. I'm just gonna finish my breakfast. Our plan for today, I think, is after the course, after the circle of security, which is from 10 till 12, we are gonna go to get some sushi for lunch and go for a walk up the bluff, if the weather's nice. Go for a little adventure. We never get to go for adventures these days, so. Tom wants to go and see if we can spot some tuna. <laughs> Eat some tuna, then spot some tuna. Eat some tuna, then spot some tuna. Brilliant, I love it. Okay, I'm just gonna put you down there because I kind of got halfway through, <laughs> Tom's singing to the baby. I got halfway through explaining that I'd gone for blood tests this morning that you have to fast for because um, they just wanna do like a full check because I've just been feeling really fatigued since the birth, or since the surgery, and um, since surgery, since the C-section, and, and yeah, I'm just not really sure. Like I used to just be so active before Lexi arrived. I would just be doing high-intensity workouts. You know, like jumping and doing ten burpees was not a, a thing. Like I, not a problem. Sorry, I just would easily do stuff like that. Whereas now it's like getting on and off the floor, getting up from the floor. I have to always think about it. Like, it's actually a mission. Like, I just am nowhere near as agile. That's a good way to describe it, I think, Tommy. I'm just, my agility just seems to have gone. I can't just, like, jump from one position to another. I just feel like I've turned into a granny. And I think it is a little bit normal for after you've had a baby and you've got, like, loads, your hormones are obviously still out of whack and it's all just all over the place. But it's been five and a half months now and it's not really improving. So the doctor wants to do some blood tests see what is happening. <laughs> oh, 
this is definitely the new game. <laughs> okay, so Bob's in the car seat. Let's <laughs> let's go. Let's get ready to go. It's funny. You just put her in there and don't do anything, and she screams. And but when you do that, she loves it. Why does that make me? Is it all right for me to turn this off now, Tommy? Yeah. Okay. Tom's been watching some show about this guy that's created a canoe from scratch and is also an amazing filmmaker and has now been on the news and he's going on this adventure. And I was just saying to him, it's like, the competition these days is outrageous. If you, you can't just be like good at one thing. You have to be amazing at multiple things. It's just, it's insane. Honestly, I just can't, I can't even deal. I was also saying that I've just been watching as I was putting my makeup on. Um, I'm just gonna put you down for a second. I was also saying just as I was putting my makeup on, oh, my eyebrows are a little bit wonky. I'm crap at eyebrows. Anyway, um, that I'm watching one a new vlogger that I've been following who does Disney vlogs, my guilty pleasure. <laughs> anyway, and she's doing her Christmas decorations already. Like making a Christmas decoration video. And I'm like, what? It's the beginning of October. I mean, I love Christmas, but putting your Christmas decorations up at the beginning of October, that's a bit much. But again, it's like the competition. If you wanna be on YouTube doing Christmas decoration videos, you can't possibly do it when it's actually like anywhere near an appropriate time. It's ridiculous. Having said that, I did buy a few new Christmas decorations actually. <laughs> Just getting. You use your brush here, you know, like, yeah. Your hair won't go down. <laughs> no. That's what happens when you put hair, hair. That's what happens when you put hand moisturizer in your hair. And let me show you my quick my Christmas decorations. I shouldn't have bought these. But, but they're really cheap and they're really cute. So I need a few new things each year, you know, just a few. So this is what I got. Get Tom's jeans out of the way. Tom's jeans and tip. Why are your clothes always all over the place? Anyway, um, yeah, I got this little koala mat. It's super cute. Little koala teddy. Uh, a rocking nutcracker. How cute is that? Um, and then, the, oh my god, this is like my favourite. Look at this. Ooh. Okay, that wasn't quite as smooth as I wanted it to be. But it's legs extend. Ta-da! <laughs> How cute is that? And then this, this is all lights up and this little house, light, house lights up as well. Um, these are just um, placemats, so that's just gonna be on the table. And then these three little cute little hearts. Gonna hang those somewhere as well. But I thought, you know, just, just a few little bits just to make it look nice. I also got another tablecloth because we don't have a red tablecloth. I need to do that. And tea lights, always need tea lights. And these are Lexi's toys. <laughs> All the toys, we've got so many toys to take with us, but we need, her, need them to um, keep her entertained. So let's go, Bobs, let's go. We just got back from the Circle of Security course number one. It's like an eight week course, I think. What do you think of it, Tommy Roo? The, in, the intro. Pretty basic so far, but yeah, practical. Yeah. Just laying a few foundations of communicating with your child, knowing what they need. Exactly. I think it's going to be really good for us. I'll just show you the basic principle of what it is. So this is kind of what the circle of security is. It's basically about like, you know, letting your children go out and play and explore, but then knowing the signals for when, you know, they need support and they want you to kind of give them a safe haven for when they come home. So it's like, this circle is just ongoing at any age. It happens now when Lexi's a little baby. 24-7. 24-7 and it yeah. happens like, you know, when, when they're, even when they're older, when they're teenagers and whatnot, so. Yeah. And Tom is cooking some arancini. Hell yeah. Because we had risotto last night, so we're gonna use the risotto to make some arancini. Tom wants to put tuna in it. I'm um, just, just not. one of them, let's try it. I'm not sure about this. Mm. And apparently Lexi wants some attention. Alright, I'm not going to do the tuna. Lexi, you're not going to do the tuna. I reckon it'd be really nice, but I just can't be bothered right now. Mm. Trying to, uh, do too much. We're trying to introduce um, a bottle to her to see what she does. This is the first time. 
because she keeps diving for my bottle, but I think it's just because she likes like the plastic or the colour or whatever it is, I don't know. But, yeah, that's it, little one. That's it. Oh, we also just keep going this, where she just puts it out and then it's like, mic drop. <laughs> Come on, little one, this is going to be your water bottle. Yeah, it's going to be your water bottle. And it's just a chew toy. Oh, oh yeah. This is a no. filling that's gonna go in the middle of the arancini. What is it? Just a bit of cream, onion, and that mushroom. Great garlic and mushroom. Garlic and mushroom. And Tom's got a bit of meat to go in his one. A bit of I don't know what it's called. Chini balls. Yum! They're amazing. So you get one big one and three, uh, two medium ones. Okay. They'll be ready soon. Yeah. Wow. <coughs> this <coughs> is what it looks like. <gasps> Hell yeah, I can't wait to eat that. And um, fix his little feet every time I always put the feet in. Yeah, have. Captain Calamari back again. Ta-da! Captain Calamari is your favorite little one. <laughs> I know little bubs, look at that. A bit in the middle, yeah. Shading the little bobs. Finally, we've made it out on our little walk because Bob's need a little bit of a sleep before. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's almost four o'clock. Look how glorious this is! Oh my god! Oh, look at this! It's gonna be that flower. Is a sleepy lizard? I'm going to try and zoom in so I don't want to get close to him and upset him. Maybe. No. Hey sleepy lizard. Do they attack Tom? No. I don't want to be attacked by a sleepy lizard. <laughs> Never ever has anyone been attacked by a sleepy lizard. Here he goes. Hi, Sleepy. See ya. Never have even spotted that, to be honest, if you hadn't pointed it out. <laughs> How cool is that? A little bit of wildlife. I love it. It feels like it's been winter for a long time here in Australia. And finally, summer is coming and the days are getting longer. Yay, more outdoor adventures. I'm so excited to go adventuring with Lexi. Oh, look at this place. Look at this place. I can't believe that we live here. <laughs> We have Flexi strapped to the front of Tom, as you can see. <laughs> oh, you got the binoculars. Can you see anything? You can see it through there. You can see, kind of. That there is a stingray. It's a stingway. Swimming across the sand. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but there's, there's sleepy lizards everywhere. Tom almost just stepped on that one. Where did the other one go? It's there on the left. 
Oh, I can't see the mess of Oh, there it is. There it is. Sleepy. This is ridiculous. I've never seen this many lizards. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is a bit of a struggle. I've got really, really unfit <laughs> since uh, this little one arrived. Whew. Although, when did I, I did do this hill when I was like, how pregnant? Like 36 or seven weeks, I think. Still made it all the way up to the top. Top. I'm completely out of breath. <sighs> it's all gonna be fine. I'm gonna get my fitness back. <sighs> it's gonna take a bit of time. We only had a baby five months ago. Major surgery. It's all good. I'm not gonna panic. <laughs> Do you know what I just realised? It was exactly a year ago that we moved here. Today? Well, like, um, well, almost, this yeah. This week, yeah. This week, last year, we've been in this location in the Florio Peninsula for exactly a year. Mm. Crazy, where's the time gone? Actually, I remember doing a photo shoot, photo shoot, you know, taking a photo on this rock over here. Um, and I was trying to hide that I was pregnant because we hadn't really like announced it to everyone yet and I tried to lie down like on my front on my tummy and that was the first time I was like oh no nope, can't do that anymore <laughs> it was so uncomfortable <laughs> you filming? yeah I'm filming <laughs> just got home and we've decided to treat ourselves to a little bit of sushi for dinner. Hell oh, yeah. This is Tom's favorite one. Yeah. Tempura prawns, hell yeah. That's his fave. Um, this one's my fave. I don't know what it's called. I'm really, really bad with the names. A brewery? Brewery? Anyway, yeah, totally. The plan was take the sushi down to the beach to go for a little fish, a little evening fish. But Tom's eating his sushi now. You're not going to have time to eat it while you're fishing, are you? I kind of want to eat some of mine now. I might eat a bit of this and then take the other one. Get a bite on my fingers. That's really, that's very true. It's not. I like fresh fish flavour, but that's a whole other level. <laughs> I realise this is a really long behind the scenes this week. But this is what happens when it's a day off and we're doing lots of things, going on mini adventures. I can't wait till we can go on like proper adventures, you know, mm -hmm. like big adventures. I can't get into this because um, I'm just feeling really. Is she going to stay asleep? Mm. I love that also. Little baby girl. <laughs> Little baby girl. Oh no. Now I'm going to have to feed the bubs. <laughs> we made it to the beach! Oh, I haven't been down the beach in, well, a very long time. Not to like, actually like go fishing or chill I got my little camping chair set up Bubs is right next to me I just put a little blanket over there so that the winds shielding your because it's a little bit windy we get our camping table I'm about to eat my sushi oh <gasps> sushi yum hell yeah I mean this is luxury right sushi <laughs> sushi by the beach Tom is 
getting set up to fish. I think he's thawing out a bit of burly. Look right there. What? Oh, cobble. They're frosting the cobbles. <laughs> oh, nice. Dogs coming over to see what's going See what's going to eat all the bait. What was it going to say? Oh, well. I've got my sunglasses on. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you. For? For a lovely day off, you know? Aww. And we never get time like together, you know? Like properly, like quality time. We're yeah. always together, but make, really making time to do something nice. different and special and nice, you know? Yeah. It's just really... It was a nice day. Really nice day. Really nice day. Yeah. It's really great. It's a lot of work. No. No. Love, you, Love you. Baby's like, where have you gone? Where have you gone? We here, little ones. We here, little bubs. It's just been such a lovely day. I think I didn't realise how much I needed a day like this. We rarely get actual proper like time off together, you know. And when we do get time off. We're not the best at making sure it's actually quality time, you know? Sitting watching a movie together is like not, it's not really like, you know, making memories. So, I really like this. Not, I mean, I love watching movies together too, but <laughs> you know what I mean. We've been down here for like about an hour now or something. Bubs is just grunting next to me <laughs> in the pram. by the sea is my happy place. I just really love it. But it also makes me feel really homesick because I'm always like by the sea at home and yeah, especially when it's magic hour. It has this weird sense of nostalgia. I don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe one of you will understand what I'm talking about. And on that note, I'm sorry that my content has been all over the place for the last couple of weeks. It's because I've got a lot of stuff I want to make. I want to keep up doing these adventures and little behind the scenes, showing you what it's like, you know, day to day life with the bubs. But I also want to do my mum's tips because when I was researching myself, I just very rarely found useful videos. It felt like everyone just was doing these generic boring things and you know me, I like to tell a story. So at the moment I'm like creating a few of them. I've got a few mum's tips, but yeah. There's a few in the pipeline, but there's also some more behind the scenes, obviously. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and we will see you soon.